All right, guys, so today's Monday, September 17th, 2014, 2018. Um, man. So, on the 14th, last Friday, I went to my retina doctor. And he didn't give me such great news. He, um, he confirmed that I didn't have any retina detachment. But he said that this type of swelling, first of all, he said he's never seen it like that before. Or he's never had to deal with it like that. <clears throat> In the back of my And that um, he would have to put me on some medication to fight the inflammation. But he wants me to come back tomorrow. Uh, he wants me to come back on Tuesday, which that would be tomorrow, the 15th. So that he could do some, I guess, tissue removal. Uh, if the swelling doesn't subside, he's going to have to cut away some things. And uh, that almost definitely will affect my vision, you know, my potential to even reach 2020 or close to it. Um, a lot was going on in that room. You know, you got residents there, you got his assistant there, and then you got like... <clears throat> you got like the administrator walked some one of these administrators walked in anyway I knew what I had to do um, so I got a lot of questions that I'm probably going to present tomorrow I definitely will present tomorrow but um, I've taken these meds that he prescribed that combat swelling and in terms of my vision, not much has changed. It's still like dark, still faint, can't really see anything. So I don't know if the swelling has been addressed much. Maybe he'll say, oh, it, it has gone down. It's just still, you know, blocking some areas. The medication is working. That would be good news. But from what I can see, <clears throat> it's not working. Or well, at least not to the extreme I need it. Uh, I think I could possibly get steroid injections directly into the tissue. I think. Um, he made it seem like the pills that he gave me were going to be more effective, though. But at any rate. Um, I don't know if I'm going to have surgery again. I don't know. At this point, I'm not so much trying to save this. I'm trying to say this, you know, I don't want them to go into my eye and cut me up and then say, oh man, you know, your, your body's reacting differently and your brain is, in, is rejecting your eye, you know, like that can happen. That can happen. And if that happens, mm, now my wife is, now I'm a dependent, you know, I can't, I can't, uh, help you know i'm just i'm a blind man i'm looking at the glass half full that's how i look at it like if this is if this is all right whatever this is mute fine it's on mute i'd rather it be on mute and then 20 years from now some technology comes out where they can rebuild the tissue or something i don't want to be frankenstein frankenstein monstered to the point where oh man if we we had this technology before we chopped up your eye well then we could have saved it you know like i don't want that i'd rather just you know my body's okay i'm not losing vision in this eye um i'm still 2020 i can see it's just a little strange you know um let my eye heal up and if they can do something in the future then they can um or you know get these steroid injections and maybe it'll be a slow recovery i don't know but i just feel like going under the knife nah man y'all tried you know i don't i don't want to lose this so i'm i've come to the realization things could get worse like i i've i've been in a bad position for like the last year now but I didn't know it could really get worse until last week. So that's where I'm at with this.